other side. Okay. I don't want something that does not exist. Okay, so let's start. <laughs> it's been recorded, I know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys. Okay, we'll start again from the basic lecture. Those of you who don't do not know anything at all. Um, first of all, <clears throat> this is your stage. Photoshop may you have a canvas. Stage obviously where you perform some actions. You have layers. You can keep on adding up layers, and every layer you have keyframes. One keyframe, second keyframe. These are keyframes. This entire thing is your timeline. The timeline keeps on going on. Okay. And apart from that, you also have is different scenes. We are not talking about scenes right now. If we, if we have to, we'll discuss it in A2. But it's not important. Scenes will be. Um, you can have different scenes. In one scene, you have one stage. Then one scene in the stage. So when one scene um, is over, you get another scene. But one scene is good enough to have even one hour video. Why do we need different scenes? Because ev um, every particular scene cannot be prolonged a lot. It will become too heavy. So this is why Flash introduced different scenes so that your particular scene doesn't get very heavy and it starts collapsing. Now, what you should know initially is how to basically use the motion guide motion, twinning motion, how to move, move an object. That was our first lecture. Well, you should be aware of the tools. This is your pick tool, selection tool. You have different shapes, shapes available over here. You have over here is a text tool. This is the lesser tool. But the most important thing over here will be how to work with the timeline. If you know how to work with the timeline, everything is done. Flash does not have enough tools. It's not a graphic software. It's not meant to work with tools. It's meant to work with a timeline. Okay, when to play, when to stop, how to do action scripting within timeline. Okay, right. So first of all, our first lecture was we learned how to move a ball. Okay, so what I did was uh, let's move it till 45. Okay insert keyframe and you have to create is a motion twin twice now the question is why do I have to click twice because motion twin is not the only thing you will be doing there is shape twinning there is graphic twinning there are the stuffs as well that's why there is an option available from here till here what I want is motion twinning and from this point to next point probably I want shape twinning this is why they gave you two options this is why you have to enable the motion twinning twice for those of you who were asking me last time why do we do it? Now you with me? Now all I need to do is, if you look over here, my motion starts from 1 and goes till 45. Okay? Which basically means uh, 0.4, sorry, 4.5 seconds. So all I have to do is, carry this and bring this here. It will start from there and go till over there. Pretty easy. So all you're doing is, defining the initial point, defining the end and ending point. And in between, it follows that particular path. Yes or no? Okay, you know that. If you want to add another object, you go to another layer and you can add another object. And you can move this object now. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Now let me just delete this and let me add another one. And same way you can insert keyframe and create a motion twin and move this now so now what's happening is it's moving remember one thing very important that you will save this if you save it on the desktop let's say name it as my first okay <laughs> So, yeah. scenes. I. Mm. What am I doing here? Okay, let me delete this. Now what I'll do is. Yeah, he is uh, Stephen Doyle. <laughs> okay. Control enter. Right. What happens is, after I've done this, 
I have an SW file created. You know that. If I open this, this will directly open up the animation. So this is your editable file. We call it the FLA file. And the executable file that gets executed is known as your SWF file. It also stands for your uh, standalone player. Shockwave player can also know This is known as your shockwave player. Okay. So you will be uploading this. You will not be uploading this. Yes or no? Okay. So control enter. You execute it and you generate an SWF file. Just remember that. Okay. In your CIs, if you have to provide something, this is what you will provide. Okay. Let's come to the next part. <clears throat> the next part is discussing the shape twinning. If you can recall, we learned about shape twinning. Initially, what I want to do is I have a circle. I'll come here, insert keyframe, and over here, what I would like to do is <clears throat> insert. Yes, you remember? Good. And over here, I can come over here. I can delete this, and instead of this, I can add is this particular shape. So what's happening is that particular shape is being converted into another shape. Yes or no? If I was a bit fast, I will try to repeat again. It wasn't something tough. All I did was come here, insert keyframe, and instead of creating a motion twin, because I don't want it to move, okay? I want it to change its shape. So create shape twin. And when it goes to the last one, last one ke pass still has the previous shape. No, I don't want this. I'll delete it. And instead of this, I can have is another shape. So it works. Same way we learned was how to add some text to it. And which was? OK. Huh? Yes, yes. I just want to. Okay. So, control B because I want to break this. If you could press control B once, you have broken just the letters. If you select and press control B again, you have broken those letters basically into what? Pixels. Into pixels. You can see pixels. No, I did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never. Control B. So now what I can do is you can see I can even change it. You see? I can do whatever I want to because I have basically tempered with the pixels. I have pixelated it. Yes or no? Okay. So um, remember this part as well. Remember this particular part where I have distorted the letter. This could be used somewhere else as well. You get the point? Okay. By doing control B. So let me go back. Now <coughs> insert keyframe and create shape twin come here get rid of this and over here your type is <laughs> just animation yes sorry i want it, it to shape in from here to here. Okay, last way my other shape exists. So, because if I do it over there, then I will not have a place for the other other shape. Or this shape, I have to leave this place. Or what this shape down? It's a text down, End page. Now, if I do it, Control Enter, I get is this. Yes or no? You get the point? Okay. You just have to remember the sequence. Keep in mind. Okay, how it has to be done. So till now, you know how to work with the timeline in order to create a motion and in order to shape to in it. Yes or no? Okay, I'll come to the next part. Yes. <coughs> layer? You can add a layer from here. Yes, and it's a very good method. It's a very good method that you keep on naming your layers. Double click. Name it as text. 
शेप ट्रेनिंग डबल क्लिक मोशन वाई बिकॉज इफ यू आई कम गेट If you name your layers, and if you have fifty layers, you will be able to go back to a particular layer wherever you want to go back. G. Control B. Control B break. Control B to break. Okay. I'll come to the next part of the lecture, which was basically using the motion guide. Okay. Motion guide was something really important. How does it work? Initially, what I'll do is I'll make a shape. Okay. Um. these shapes that i'm talking about circles etc you will be given clip parts stuff like that within your uh, sporting files folder you have to use them to create a banner for a website for example okay or probably an intro for a website okay this is what will come yes sir ha aapko milega na either a banner or an intro or probably they might ask you to create a 10 seconds a science animation for a club going on in a school okay and the following uh, animation should include the following steps right i will be preparing more activities for you in the next few days so that you can practice okay a sample activities for the exam okay not only for these exams for the ci as well abhi se kar lete hain now shh doubt please listen listen so all i do is insert keyframe and create motion twin and create motion twin yes though yes. instead of adding a new layer i will not do that i will add is a motion guide a motion guide needs a path to be declared now when you use a pencil a pencil can be used to draw a line telling where the path needs to go mm. now do you want this to be a straightened or a smooth path Straight. smooth smooth <laughs> <laughs> so smooth yeah so smooth okay okay so smooth yeah was it just thoda sa aage the bilkul bol ke saath oye oye so smooth okay dancing again dance so smooth the important point over here will be to define the starting point and to define the ending point if you fail to do that what will happen is your animation will directly start from here and come here you get the point okay yes is there aapne motion bhi liya ha aur do raha ji aur fir motion hai ji for example wait wait we can even do this is just please have a look that uh, the question says that you're supposed to create an animation in such a way that it follows a particular path and at the same time its shape is also changing it follows a path with its shape changing very simple just merge my my second lecture with the third lecture all i will do is come into insert keyframe idhar aao yes or no come here and you delete this and instead of this make is a rectangle for example right and let's change the color as well to yellow theek hai yes now add is a motion guide define a path kaun kaun sa path beginning beginning should start from here and here कंट्रोल एफ एट ओके मेक अ मूवी एंड नेम दिस एज चेंजिंग शेप्स ओके एंड वट आई डू ओर एयर इज आई चेंज फ्रॉम दिस टू Yes. One second. Let me just do this first. So what's happening is any problem? No. Let's go back to scene one. When I go back to scene one, uh, if this does not appear, 
you have is control L. Control L will open up your library. This is your internal library that will have your shapes, your motions, your your images, your sounds, your any sub movies, all will be there with the library. Control L. Control L. Okay. Now all I do is I'll carry this and I'll place this here. Now all I need to do is come here, insert keyframe, create motion and create motion. That's it. Okay. Now add a motion guide. And now you do is define your path. <laughs> now, ha ha ha. Achha. Achha. Got the point? So this is how you will be using both. Remember one thing, uh, <coughs> if you know your plan, this is how basically you create a movie. You should know what your script will be all about. You can write it down. Okay, but obviously if you know how to do it, it will be easier for you to, to work with it. First I will do this, then I will do this, then I will do this. Always in practical try to use system life cycle a bit. So then you start doing it. Okay, yes. Questions? Right? Now this is 100%. I press control it. I went to a sub movie. Since it was not being recorded, I'm telling you again. Yes. And after entering your sub movie, I'm making this particular drop button. Sir, drop button move to I will just move it. Insert keyframe, create motion twin, and create motion twin. What I'll do is I'll bring this down. Or niche lato hai, iska size chota na chahiye. Kyu drop jo niche karega size chota hoga. But at the same time, it should also do what? Where is the properties? Very good. Who said alpha? Alpha Kardutri. So now what's happening is it's also disappearing. When it goes small, now, now what I'll do is, I'll place this here. <laughs> but you got the point, right? The advantage of a sub movie is you can place and Another advantage of sub movie is that it's not a duplicate. What I mean to say is you can change the direction, although it will not make sense in this particular case. They are not drop, uh, they're not bullets. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh -huh.